Happy Sunday, everybody. It is the Lord's Day, and it's a great day to be able to come to you and share this Lenten devotional. My name is Evan Smith. I'm the pastor of Second Presbyterian Church in downtown Stanton, and today we're looking at Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Let's, let's listen to that now. After was, this was, took place after Jesus' baptism. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, all these I will give to you if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him and suddenly angels came and waited on him. These temptations of Jesus, they all share a few things in common. The first is, the way that the devil tempted Jesus was primarily a temptation of his identity. Like, if you really are the Son of God, then do these things. And the other ways that, they, that he was tempted is he was tempted to try to take an easier path. Like, oh, you're hungry, make these stones become bread. In that last temptation, knowing Jesus' mission to save the world, and the devil says, if you just bow down and worship me, I'll give you everything. I'll, you're here for the world, I'll give you the world. But Jesus knew not to give in to these temptations. We ourselves experience all sorts of temptations and in trying to, to be able to live out a life of faith as a follower of Jesus. But I've come to think that what's really behind a lot of these temptations for us is a desire to have an easier life or to be able to live out our faith on our terms instead of God's terms. And I think that that's maybe part of how uh, the devil, the enemy, whoever it is, will, will try to tempt us now. will try to tempt us by saying, you know, if you're really like a follower of Jesus, wouldn't life be different than this? Wouldn't life be a little bit easier? Shouldn't God give you some protection from all the troubles of this world? And, and we tend to think that like, maybe we have that kind of deal with God. Like God, you know, I'll, I'll love you. I'll follow you. I'll, I'll go to church. I'll give. I'll just try to be a good person. And as long as I do those things, then you protect me from everything. But then, but then life happens on a random Tuesday morning and things just are turned upside down. And we realize that what Jesus said in John is true, that in this world you will have troubles. And that a life of faith is not a life that is spared difficulty. Instead, a life of faith is a life in which we can trust in the Spirit's presence with us. So I think a lot of times we're tempted to try to have an easier life or to seek life on our own terms instead of on God's terms. And I think the other temptation that we have to be aware of is we become so tempted not to hear who God says we are. And we think that the spiritual life is about avoiding these temptations, when really, what so much of that could easily become is a works righteousness. It's this idea that as long as I behave, then God will love me. And we need to be able to learn to rest and be secure in God's amazing love for us regardless of how well we handle temptations or not. Now, don't get me wrong. We are obviously still called to flee from the enemy and to flee towards God, to avoid temptations, to live a more holy life. But know that despite your sin, God still loves you. God still welcomes you with open arms. And we need to rest secure knowing that God's love for us is not dependent on our avoiding temptation or our avoidance of sin. And that is 
the thing that we should be thinking about today. That is our word for today. Today is Sunday, and so it is still possible at the time that I'm coming to you on this that you can make it to Second Presbyterian Church and come worship with us. We would love to have you. 10.30 a.m. this morning, we're at 201 West Frederick Street in downtown Stanton. Please come, be our guest. We have a little gift for you. We would love to have you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.